You're not gonna say I'm nothing? Going yeah. to pick up the bed. Mm -hmm. So if I'm not mistaken, um, when I dropped off the van last year in November, this is the same day that Cleo and I left the van and came back home so we could be home in time for Thanksgiving. <laughs> This is the same, probably like the same date this time last year that I dropped the van off. And now we're going to pick it up on the same date. And that wasn't even planned. So <sighs> I cannot wait to go get my van. It probably looks dusty because it's been sitting for exactly a year. But I'm excited. And my husband is with me. And so Cleo will be with us in, you know, other trips, but for the sake of this one, because it's gonna be such a fast trip. Um, I just didn't wanna to have to put her on the airplane again. It wasn't necessary, because we'll be home in three days. So yeah, mm -hmm. y'all get to come with us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wasn't trying to push nothing new. So we taking bets, All right? After this, <laughs> she will be doing some elevator push-ups. How many of y'all think she got in there? She said 10, I said five. Take a guess. So let me ask you this. Once I get past five, I can stop, right? It, it, you got to max out. They guess on how much you can do. Oh, I got to max out. You got to max out. Oh, Lord. Okay. Be cute. Not hot. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See. Claro que sí. Give me. That's the deal. One. Two. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Four, okay. Five. Six. Okay. <laughs> seven. Okay. Eight. I think you get fifteen. <laughs> ten. Keep going. Andale, pues. No te so it's a max up. <laughs> you ain't max, but that was okay. ten. She's so cute. Isn't she good? <laughs> We just landed and we're waiting for our Uber so we're going to pick up our van, right? <laughs> he said right. <laughs> All right, so right now we made it to the storage unit and the van is here. A few things though. The van won't start. It's been sitting for a year. My mom came and, you know, started it or tried to start it and it didn't start. So I knew that when I got here, it wasn't going to start. So AAA is on the way. And then the other part is somebody stole my generator, hmm. which is a lot of money. And, you know, I told y'all about my generator being like probably one of the more expensive things in my van and somebody stole it. So that's lame but maybe they needed it more than i do even though at this point i actually do really need it <laughs> so um we're waiting for triple a and then we're gonna go to walmart and get some cleaning supplies some new sheets and stuff like that because the van is toe up from the flow up it looks like me and cleo was sleeping on a beach full of dirt <laughs> Cause it's dirty. So yeah, uh, you know, unfortunately, my husband wasn't able to come and, and see a, a a glamorous van. He came to uh, the desert. <laughs> Cause that's exactly what it looked like inside that van. Is the desert. That's kind of all I got. So yeah, right now this is where I am. Waiting for AAA and hopefully they come when they said they were gonna come. Uh, probably got like another hour to wait. 
normally in Texas, you don't have to wait this long for AAA. Where where I stay, you don't have to wait this long for AAA. Most of the time, it's like 30 minutes, maybe 45. We got here at 12, and it said that it wouldn't be here until like 2.30. So, we're waiting. <laughs> Triple A is here. They were able to start the van and get the key out of the ignition. Say what up, Triple A? Oh yeah. What's your, what's your name? What's your name? Oh, yeah, Billy B. I know that's right. <laughs> so we're able to get the van started, which is great. And they also put an air in our tires as a courtesy. Very beautiful people. They have beautiful spirits. One thing about my husband and I, God does not play about us, making sure we have everything that we need and we're always provided for. And there's no need to have fear or anxiety because everything's gonna work out exactly how it's supposed to. And it is. Why does God not play about us? Because we are delicious. Because we don't play about God. Because we don't do play about God. <laughs> So now we get to, you know, clean out the van a little bit and then we're going to go get something to eat and then we're going to go to our first camp spot, which is kind of a parking lot, but it's in Lake Mead. So Lake Mead is probably the best camping spot that you're going to find <laughs> in a parking lot. So yeah, and then we'll talk to y'all soon. So we 
up to the uh, Lake Mead Recreation Area. Hopefully they have like some new shirts because I got shirts last time and I got hats last time, but hopefully they have some different ones and so I can start adding to my patches again. Oh wait, let me show y'all, it's better now. We should have cleaned the windshield. <laughs> I didn't think to do it, but. Oh yeah, it does. Oh, it's not even that bad. It's not some sage clearing our space because I didn't get a chance to do that yesterday <laughs> now we're about to make some tea And the other beautiful thing about Lake Mead and why it's like so nice is it's quiet for the most part unless people riding around in their boats with music talking about everybody get your roll on. Everybody, everybody get your roll on. But <laughs> outside of that, it's a very, very quiet and peaceful place. So now we're about to make some tea. Just avoided disaster too. Cause somebody done ran down on our van for the second time. First time people stole out of our van during the snowless blizzard in Houston, biggest blizzard in Houston history. My first time meeting this young lady. I was supposed to go out there for four days, ended up there for like a week and a half because I couldn't get home. They ain't have no damn snow, but it was just so cold they got shut down. That's what happened when these type of energies come together. But when we was parked up at the Marriott, somebody had broken the van in, took a bunch of stuff, and then the van been in, where we at again? Uh, Las Vegas yep. for a year. And we realized yesterday some people um, broke in, took your yeah, ukulele. Yeah, I guess they, they needed some ukulele. entertainment in their life. They took right. your... They took my ukulele. They took my generator. They took my hatchet. Yeah, that's machete for, you know, no no people. <laughs> um, but we thought we wasn't going to be able to get this open and make tea. You know, we ain't had nothing sharp. So, of course, right on the floor is one little pink tack. 
I used the key, got on my MacGyver, I'm proud of myself right now. Prop the key in there, use the tack, poke through, we good to go, so it's lit. See, masculine energy, right? <laughs> Cleo can't do that. <laughs> Cleo, find other things. <laughs> Water. Oh no, we got better water than that. Oh yeah, that's the same water. Should be enough, right? You're not drinking? <laughs> you know I'm a tea, tea guy. I gotta keep in mind, YouTube, I can't say certain things. Yes. <clears throat> All right. These herbs. Ooh. Get it together now. <laughs> These herbs are burdock root. Sheep sorrel, slippery elm, turkey rhubarb root, and yellow dock. Mm -hmm. okay. Got way too much. Okay, got our herbs for our tea. And then we're just gonna. Put that in there. Get our fire going. I see fire. Good. All right. So our tea is working. Now we get to go to the to the water and explore a little bit. So y'all know it's been a year since I've been in my van and it feels so good it feels so good to be back in my van like i think i may need air in my tire you just scared the shit out of me i was about to say uh-uh i don't know who walking up on me like that <laughs> it's a no for me you think i should cut it off I might have been a wife making tea on the beach. Ha! <laughs> I know that's right. I better do my my due diligence. My wifely duties. <laughs> you know how many people would have been like tea. <laughs> if I think that tea, I'm about to go look at the water. Yeah, I'm about to change my clothes. Rain down on me, la 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 la, it falls on me. Rain down on me, la 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 la, it falls on me, on me.
I know y'all see that rain. <laughs> <laughs> that's I know I, that's right. I adjusted it just for that. <laughs> we need Starbucks. I mean, we did need them last night, but we don't need them for no damn tea. Sorry, Starbucks. Thank you for the cups, though. <laughs> yeah. Y'all say hey to my mama. Hi. <laughs> this is for YouTube and Instagram. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> oh, hi. Instagram. <laughs> Where are you? Hold on. I'm about to show you. No, no cliffs. The cliffs are on the other side, but we're not going. Well, we'll be at cliffs today, but we won't be at the cliffs that's here. I just need you to stay away from the cliffs, okay? <laughs> stay away from the cliffs. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. So where are y'all? Y'all still in Las Vegas? Yeah, this is still like me. So what does this mean for me moving forward in my van? And I mean, I, I think I've said this so much, y'all. I will continue to travel in my van when it resonates with my spirit and when it is necessary. And that's a lesson for everyone. When God say stop, just stop. <laughs> When your spirit says, do something else, give yourself permission to do something else. And things looking different than how you plan do not equate to being a failure. It just means that you, your spirit has redirected you to go in a different route, to do different things, to explore different things, to evolve in different ways. And so if I would have continued in my van at the rate that I would have, so many things would not have happened for me that have happened for me. Um, I built a house. I lost 63 pounds. Last time I talked to y'all, I was like 40 something. But I lost 63 pounds. Um, got married, started a business, quit my job as a police officer. All of these things were able to happen because I was able to listen to my spirit say that your season doing this is complete for right now. And it's time for you to journey into different seasons to do other things. And so one of the things about having a relationship with healing and growth and evolving is knowing when to listen, knowing when to stop, knowing when to be still. Even if there is fear, even if you don't really want to stop, even if you want to continue doing the things that you're doing, if you want to continue drinking, if you want to continue smoking, if you want to continue going to the club, if you want to continue being angry, if you want to continue um, holding grudges, if you want to continue doing things, eating foods that don't serve you and make you feel horrible, if you want to continue doing things that are not serving your evolution, still give yourself permission to listen to your spirit your soul your intuition just because you want to continue does not mean that that's conducive for your healing journey and so sometimes you're just going to have to journey into the unknown and follow the path that your spirit is asking you to follow even and especially when it does not make any sense <laughs> okay <laughs> so there's so many things that we are meant to explore and fill into and, and adventure into. And we don't get permission or we don't give ourselves permission to explore into those things if our intuition tells us one thing and we do the opposite. So the purpose is not to force ourselves into submission. 
because of what society is asking us to do for what is paying us money because some people will go against what they know their soul is asking them to do because they're making six figures or you know they have a huge social media platform and they can't take a break because they have to continue making money when we give ourselves permission to listen to our intuition it guides us exactly where we're supposed to be and when we ignore that we stay stagnant and we miss all of the blessings that we are hoping to receive. So that's my TED talk. <laughs> I'm about to get my tea and go out. And uh, first I'm about to put on a jacket because I just changed clothes so I could show up and be cute. But I'm about to put my jacket on. <laughs> and I'm about to go drink my tea with my husband first of all let's be clear i got this jacket it's dirty i didn't wash it <laughs> which is unfortunate and it has like random gloves in it and i just feel so worded out by even putting my finger uh my hands in the in the pockets because i ain't washed this jacket it still got the tag on it <laughs> but i got this jacket for ten dollars at the uh at the uh the thrift store and i'm really excited about it look wait i'm trying to show y'all okay that's just gonna have to do it looked like somebody uncle jackie but it's cute to me see you know it look like i'm a part of the home alone cast just the jackets they was wearing back then huh <laughs> So, shout out to me and my jacket. I'm about to go have tea with my husband. And shout out to our van for still being here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.